Possibly the last Thunderstruck SPC we're going to see is the PSG boy, Lee Kang In. He actually has an evolution that's pretty stacked. Can't remember exactly what evolution path you need to do to get there, but it was quite popular. And that was based around his team of the week. We've now got an 86 rated, and it looks pretty decent. And he's very, very cheap. For cheap and fast FC24 Ultimate Team Coins, head over to MMOEXP.com, link down below, and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to get yourself 5% off. Only 4-star, 3-star. Not great. Can play as a left mid, a left wing, and a striker. Nice alternate positions, of course. Career links for some, which is amazing. And PSG being a very popular team. And more than likely, should hopefully getting the full upgrade. Now, I don't know if this works like Batcher did in regards to the fact that have they already won a game? Was he an 85 originally or an 84? Now he's an 86 with a boost already. If you know, let me know down below. But as far as I'm aware, potential to go to an 88 with two regular play styles included. Technical, first touch, long ball pass and dead ball. Decent. I'm a big fan of technical. The other three, nothing crazy. I wouldn't mind like finesse shot in there. In regards to where you should play him, like... It's a very nice looking card. The agility, the balance, the ball control, dribbling, ticks all the boxes. Lowish composure and reactions isn't ideal, but the pace looks good, the shooting looks good, the passing looks decent, same with the physicals. I think I'm going to rock him as a centre forward in a 4-3-2-1. I think that's the way to go. I'm going to give him a Hunter Kem style, you know. Super juice the pace and basically max out that shooting. And let's test him out. Hopefully he's going to be a demon. All right then, in we go. Div rivals, I need W's under my belt. Hopefully we can get some today and get an absolute worldly performance from the boy Lee Kang in. Oh, Don Modric. Salah could bring us out of the depth. Give it up to Lee, go on. Good touch from the boy. Dribbling should be one of the strong points. The agility and balance is super high on the card. Physicals, he does well to hold off. I'm not too sure. I think that's Teo and Andes. And Govu. Get sweaty, get ratty. Into sun. And we get that lead. By the way, why do people pick this stadium? Like, if you if you notice this, anyone who doesn't use the Foot Champ Stadium, what, what's your reasoning? Especially the ones with the weird shadows, man. Like, is it like a, ta a tactic? Do they want to try to put me off or something? Yes, Kieran. 86 rated Kieran Tierney, by the way. Lee. Movement's nice. He's still on side here. But Big Verge comes across and bullies him. We're not going to say much about that because Verge pretty much bullies everybody in this game with that physical. Love that. Lee takes it over. Get that RB dribbling going. Moving at pace. Salah's movement's good. Lovely read from my opponent there, though. Only four star, three stars. A bit disappointing, you know. I would have preferred four star, four. His physicals are good, though, you know. Let's just, let's just drive in. Keep going. Oh, pace is there. Pace is there. Unfortunately, Nesta gets the better of him, though, and we just ran out of play. Ah, he gets one back. Harry Kane on the score sheet. Lee. Impressed with your physical and your dribbling and pace so far. Strong points. And of course, you are upgradable, which is a lovely little thing as well. Keep driving. Lorente doesn't have the legs. Picks the pass back to Luca. Keep a composure, unfortunately. I do not. I fluff my lines. Sonny. Little ball roll. Let's have Lee trying to run into a bit of pocket space there in the middle. RB and A. Decent pick out. Govu's in, and Govu bags it. Lee gets an assist, and most importantly, we take that lead. Come on. One thing I did forget to mention with this boy, but I didn't actually talk about the price of the SPC. It's an 83 and an 82 team, which is dirt cheap, but unfortunately, EA being EA, have added a team of the week into this SPC. So that adds, what, 40k basically immediately because of our team of the week prices. Definitely inflates it a little bit. If team of the weeks weren't a thing, this card would literally be cheap as chips. He's got some serious pace as well, by the way. Absolutely blitzing this left wing. Oh, this card. Oh. I've actually card picked the pass, but I will take that. What was that? I don't know what's just happened, but Lee's on the score sheet. Mr. Kang in. Let's go. Lure him in that one. Well done. Hernandez again doing bits. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful play from the boy. Plays in Sunny all the way. Human son. No way. So annoying. So Footbin is saying the price is 58k. It's not actually that bad if you think about it. Considering this card potentially could get upgrades still. Including playstyle boosts as well. He's met a body type in game with the lean. High medium. Four star, three star isn't really ideal. But still, not too bad. And I definitely think PSG probably should secure the uh, the win there. I think they've got Le Havre next away. It's Paris Saint-Germain. I know they struggled against Newcastle. But in the league and they tend to do all right for themselves. So expect the upgrades, I am sure. And so far, I'm enjoying the card. He feels super quick in game. Oh, the read from Kieran is beautiful. There's space now for Lee to run in. Have we got the legs to get around Nesta? Oh, we do, you know. He feels seriously quick in game. Much quicker than the pace. 
Lorente, we'll see you later as well, boy. Oh, no, I should have stopped. I should have kept going. Should have kept going. Charles is still alive, though. Never mind. No, it isn't. Lee, pluck that down. Beautiful touch. Let's go. I'm confident we got the pace on Lorente, you know. That Evo Lorente is not slow. Little ball roll as well. Technical play style. We're gliding. Oh, I just can't find our way through that little pocket of space. Honestly, though, the pace and the dribbling, they're impressing me. Those stats are playing much better than I expected. Oh, the read is on. My opponent should fear this now because Lee... Physical to stay on his feet against Nesta. We don't come away with the ball. But hopefully that interception can unleash the boy on the left wing. Lorente is getting done. Absolutely spun by this man. Doku gets megs. But unfortunately we don't get on the other side. Does it technically count if he goes through the legs and we don't receive it? It's like a half nutmeg in my opinion. Govu. Modric. RBNA back sticks is the boy. We're battling for the badge as well. Lorente is at a torrid time. Lee has absolutely dominated him. Muscles his way through. Left footed finish in the back of the net. Happy days. Genuinely really enjoyed that card. Like I was surprised he played as well as he did. And the fact that there's potentials for upgrades as well. Yes, please. By the way, anyone does not play in Div Rivals anymore. Like I think I played six, yeah, six games so far this season. I just don't see the incentive these days. We need to get grinding back in the elite division though. Unfortunately, I'm slacking right now. But this boy feels quick. Give him a Hunter Chem style. He's explosive with the agility, the balance, technical as well. We've got two goals and assists. An unbelievable debut. And I have to say, very nice card. Is he worth 50k? It's a little bit pricey. I probably would say if he was on the market, he might be a bit cheaper. But the team of the week's definitely like influencing the price there. So what I would say with this SBC, maybe don't jump to do it. If you want to link up Lee Gunn and like play them on the sun, definitely a good idea with uh, the nationality links there. But if you get like an untradeable team of the week and you don't want to do any upgrades, maybe look at this SBC as like a potential fodder sink because 82 rated team, 83 rated team is so cheap right now. Basically discard, you can get it done. All you need is that team of the week card and I would say get this SBC done. Anyway, I'm going to go review Lam in detail and then maybe Garnacho if we have time tonight. But I'll be more subscribe if you're new. Catch you later.